877, which is an easy path device. So this is what you want to put in there when you have zero to 100% cable fill so you don't ever have to worry. I mean, this is a device that we call zero maintenance. And it's been backed up by an evaluation service record at UL saying that it's maintenance free once you install it. So Eddie, you got a couple different things that you like to do when you're in. All right, well, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a little pilot hole. Feel around, make sure we don't feel any type of mechanical devices. Then we have this jig that we made, and what this does is this keeps us aligned from the one wall through to the other wall. Install that on, play, lay it tightly up against the wall. Drill all the way through. So what do you got there, Eddie? So you made a little a two by four? It's, all it is is nothing more than a piece of three quarter inch plywood and a short uh, two by four block, and then we used the drill press and drilled a nice straight hole straight through. Uh, this way, that just keeps it perpendicular and just yeah, it makes it keeps it nice and aligned. Makes up. it very simple. Okay. Makes the, the installation of the device very very easy. So now what are you what are you doing here? Now we're going to be putting in a 44, and the 44 requires a six inch round hole. We're doing 44, or is this the yeah, yeah 44. 44. I like it. We got the big dog here. Okay. So let me uh, go ahead and start reading through the system. We have F ratings of one, two, three, or four hours. So this is a very versatile product that we're dealing with here, this easy pad. So this device, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, there's not much to do. I mean, listen, there's a lot of paperwork in here, a lot of different cable types. We have zero to 100% fill. This is a great product for when future use or when you're gonna just load it up. So Eddie, why don't you just drill this hole and we're gonna show everybody how easy it is to put in an easy pet device. A second there, John. You know, what I'm gonna ask you to do. Sure. Why don't you slip that through the back? All right, okay. Let's show people how easy easy path really is. So what what size hole did we just drill? That was a six inch round one, six inch round hole. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the square peg through the proverbial round, round hole. hole. There you go. Now I'm going to put. So we had pre-installed the bracket on this side, just kind of tighten those screws up. And the intumescent gasket as well. It's the intumescent gasket in, the bracket on this side. Snug it all the way back to the wall. Again, the device uh, needs to be centered within the wall. As you read through there, there are some extensions uh, modules that are available if you have some thicker wall types. This is just our standard wall, so Eddie's got it centered in there, and he's gonna go ahead and just Snug up the hardware, the bracket there, onto the device, but it does not have to be securely fastened into the wall. There are some screw holes in there um, in case you needed to keep it in place for whatever reason, but they're not required for the system. All you need to do is have that device, uh, the bracket on, on your EasyPad device, and you have a compliant installation. So WL3377, EasyPad, easy peasy. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.